Well, we are standing in front of our same RV model, only it's a 2021 versus 2019, which is ours. We are and, gonna take you inside. And they went drastic. They changed a lot. Two-year model, drastic. Yeah. A lot of different changes. Cosmetically, the floor plan is pretty much the same, so we'll go and uh, take you along and, and let you see all the changes. Yeah. So you can see already initially the drastic change in the color scheme. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do some panning in ours and panning on this one so you can see the difference, but you can already see the white, black sink, the darker furniture, the flooring is different. The oh. carpeting is not really carpeting. It's more like a mat. Like an indoor outdoor mat. The island is different. All of the balances are in that black and gray color scheme. There would still be a space for Scout up here. The chandeliers are a little different up here. Very modern, I like it. The ceiling fan is a little different. Same residential fridge. We did talk to the salesman and he said that Montana now is going to the sensors. So when you open doors or when you're going upstairs, lights come on motion sensor lights yeah so that's nice and you can see here what's different than ours also is the ceiling has a pattern on it our ceiling is white and then we painted our walls white so this is a good contrast yeah it's definitely still those white. little like smoky edges on the wood just makes it pop uh, yeah. which is really cool i love that they went to a window in the kitchen adds so much more light how it always should have been yeah for sure you know that we took the uh the balances off of ours but i think that if we upgraded to this one we would leave these because these are actually pretty pretty nice <laughs> they are nice it doesn't let uh less light out than ours it's did good. and ours really the ones that came with ours didn't really go well love 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 that these have the sunshade and the blackout. Yeah. Ours do not. Ours just has a shade. Mm -hmm. A white shade, not even a, a blackout shade. So, kudos to that improvement as well. Yeah. They have more, well, features. Features, yeah. Yeah, they have more features. This has, ours just had like a, like a little Removable thing that you, one. you put in there, that stuck in there. This is like fixed. Yeah. This is nice. Ours has only recline. These have the light, the recline, the heat, and the massage, which is really cool. And the USB port. Ours didn't have the USB port in them. Yeah. Floor plan wise, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Which we like our floor plan anyway. Yeah. So I wouldn't be opposed to going to the same floor plan. They did change the door. We have the swivel door here on the rail. And this door is... Now a pocket door. Yeah. Which is what should have been all along. Major good upgrade there. Yeah. Otherwise, everything else in here is the same. Yeah, pretty much. They do have the stainless sink, sink bottom, which yeah. we don't have. Which is nice. It looks like their stock sink comes out a little further than ours did, so we had to replace ours. So that's really nice. Yeah. Um, going into the into the bedroom, not a lot of changes here. This is where our washer and dryer would go. Really, the only changes in here is what they did here was with the the laundry chute, which takes away a little bit of your closet storage. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, but it's not terrible. Yeah. And added a window kudos yeah Good really idea. cool let's light in yeah and again they have uh both types of shades even back here in the bedroom the dresser is a better dresser than our model it's got m more drawers yeah ours has too long and too short yeah this has six short yeah. so it's easier to categorize your clothing yeah and it's taller so they're probably 
bigger in size. Yeah. Deeper at least. Good amount of size in there. Yeah. And ours, our our door back here is not on a barn door rail like that. No. Ours is just on, got this little swivel up there, but this has the barn door rail, which, which is, is really cool too. Another thing that I like is all the all the fixtures, the speakers and the vents are all black. Mm -hmm. So they pop. They did change the thermostat controllers, which some people might say if the other ones were the touch buttons and these mm -hmm. are actual push in buttons, why wouldn't you want the touch ones better? We have issues with our touch buttons. They yeah. don't move when they should move all the time. And you could be tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping and you can't get anything to happen. Or and sometimes you'll accidentally turn the furnace on. on. Yeah, <laughs> it gets stuck in a mode when you're trying to do it and then you're like fanatically trying to get it off furnace so you don't cook. So I do like that it, even though it doesn't look as modern as the touchpad one, but I think it's good. it works better. Yeah, the attention to detail on this one's a little bit better because yeah, you can see there in the corners, ours just kind of ends against the wall. It has the... They the, have these corners. It has a trim finished. from the ceiling to the wall, but we don't have the finish, corner finishings like yeah. this one does, which is nice. It's a nice little touch. So, God help us if we find a good deal on one of these in Tampa. Lord help me. They have an awesome price at the Tampa show. I'll start moving out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. They outdid themselves. Very yeah. happy. Let's go look at the outside. One of the coolest things, and this is this is stock, this is not the full body paint, but they have made this way more hip. Yeah. With the little blue accents and the black. And, and it's not the wavy swirl. Yeah, it, it looks more like a jagged. It looks way more modern. I mean, even down here on these fenders, they're not like that that tan color. These are like a cool, like a smoke color. Still has your seamless windows, which is great. Yeah. Ours did not come with the slide toppers. This one does come with the slide toppers, which is great. Mm -hmm. Still has the huge pass-through storage, which is the same size as ours. One of the things that I that I probably the only thing that I don't like is that it doesn't have the outdoor TV like ours does. It's prepped over there for a TV, so we could put a mount but it was just so convenient to have ours out here but if you start talking about pros versus cons and all of the pros versus that one, one con, con yeah and everything else was a positive change yeah it, it's crazy yeah so if you say well that's just the one and only thing we didn't like about the change you can live with that could totally live with it yeah one of the other cool changes that they made to this is more of a convenience thing but now the power plug is here on the side so now you have your power you have your water in here you have your sewer right here ours currently the power plug is way in the back on the actually the back of the rv so now when you pull up you got your pedestal here at the R, at the campground so you got all your stuff in one spot which is way more convenient not sure why they did ours with the plug in the back but now it's it's really cool and not only is it prepped for a backup camera it's prepped for side cameras so how much easier do you think that would be backing up a lot easier <laughs> we would be leaving with side cameras <laughs>
Well, that is the 2021 Montana 3121 RL. Yes. Our model. Our model. New year. Way better Our than Our model ours. 2.0. <laughs> I mean, for the time, ours was cool. Yes. But they just really stepped it up. They sure did. I don't know who they were listening to. Us? The people. They were listening to us. They, they probably did because I griped <laughs> a little at first. Like, I I bought it. I love it. Yeah. But this is what you need to be doing <laughs> yeah. in the future. And really, a lot of the stuff that we've been suggesting is has, has been, been changed. implemented. Yeah. Yeah. They got it right. They did. They absolutely got it right this time. We love it. So, um, maybe maybe a new one coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. We'll see when we get to Tampa. I, I need this RV. <laughs> yeah. Like, I need it now. <laughs> but you're going to go to Tampa, you're going to see like 40 more that you really love. I, I will. I'll fall in love with a lot. Yeah. But in all realisticness of it, this meets every need. Yeah, the bottom line is, is, is the length that we need, the floor plan that, that we, we like. Love. Yeah. And now all the interior stuff and the changes that they made. It is. This is now the perfect Scout RV. friendly. Yeah. Everything about it because it's our layout. So we know it's scout friendly. We could literally take all Minimal. of our stuff, move it out of ours, put it in the exact same spot in this one. Yes. No issue. No issue. We know the weight. Yep. We know it would be good on everything. We know the, the capacities. We know how much the tanks. I, yeah. I mean, it'd really just be a simple move over. Yes, yeah. it would. Yeah. Well, that's it. We hope you liked watch, walking through our, maybe our next home. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have this.